Hi, here's the next video about Unreal Engine 4 and this time I'm going to import a Blender model with animations. This is a light switch model in Blender 2.78 that I created in a previous tutorial. It consists of two objects, the outer box and the inner switch. And what I'm going to do now is to add a bone in the center of this model, but before I can do this, I will center the 3D cursor. Then I added the bone and scale it down and rotate it around the x-axis 90 degrees. Okay, now I select all the parts of the model. Therefore hold the control key down and press the left mouse button and now all the objects are selected. Then with shift key pressed, select the bone and then parent with control P and automatic weights. Okay, and now we should be able to select this bone in pose mode and apply rotations to the model. Yeah, it works, but that's not what we wanted. We want to rotate the inner object only. And so I switch to weight painting mode. And you see the outer box here is painted in red. This means that any transformation I apply for the bone will affect the whole outer box model, but I don't want this. So I select the subtract brush and paint the whole model or the whole outer box in a blue color. And when I return to pose mode now, you can see that the rotation of the bone only affects the inner model. Okay, and now we are ready to define our animations. This will be very simple animations, turning the light on and off. So let's open the dope sheet and then the action editor, because we want to define two actions, lights on and lights off. Okay, create a new action. This will be called lights off or light off. And then I will create a keyframe for the rotation of the model. And I move to the 10th frame, rotate it slightly and define the next keyframe. And yes, this is the whole animation. I know, very simple, but in my opinion, skeletal animations can be used best in game engines like Unreal Engine or Unity. Okay, now let's create the next animation. Press this plus icon and name this light on. And the only thing we have to do is to reverse this animation and therefore we select the first keyframes, use the G key to move them to the 10th frame then select the last keyframes and move them to the first frame and that's it. Now we have two animations, light on and light off. Save it, close this editor and export the whole model, including animations as FBX. First select all the parts of the model, then choose export FBX. And we're going to export armature and mesh for the selected objects. And I export it to a folder of an existing Unreal Engine 4 project. Now open Unreal Engine and you can see the engine notices that there's something to import. Use skeletal mesh and import mesh and import the animations. Then press import and here we go, we have the light switch and two animations, lights on and lights off. That's it. And now you can drag the light switch model here into your scene, scale it up a little bit, and then we rotate it 90 degrees around the C-axis and find the position so that it fits this wall. OK, 
okay that's basically it you see there is no material assigned so let's select a metal material for this like this chrome yeah looks nice then let's start the game and see how this will look like yeah looks pretty nice and in the next tutorial i want to show you how to interact with this light switch we have two animations as i said the light on and light off and i will show you how to toggle these animations when pressing a special key and this will be possible when the player reaches a certain distance to this light switch here in the editor you can also see and apply the animations this is the on and here is the off animation yeah and i really hope you will come back to jnm for the next tutorial where we are going to switch on and off this red light here you can see in the scene with the logic created with blueprints thanks a lot for watching and subscribe to this channel to jnm